Welcome to the Afterlife Podcast, episode number eight. With these goals, I'm Whitefire. I'm with two idiots and Runic. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. wow. The Viking himself from the north, Runic Titan. Hello, boys. Then we have um, some dude just hanging out in Blonsky's room. Hi, everybody. Yeah, it's like a baby or something. I can't tell. Crush. Uh, well, that's where do you come from? And last but not least, <sighs> actually, last but least, we have uh, all LJ, the koala. Oh my gosh, hello everyone. There you go. Absolutely abysmal. Yeah. Whoa, what hosting. do you mean? Don't start, Papega. You know, white, white, white. You, you, come on, you're leaving dead air already in the podcast. <laughs> like, you, chop, chop. Come fault. on, come on, chop, chop. It's straight up your fault. Whoa, it that is. was your fault. Thank you very much. That was your fault. No, see, white. Now you're exactly. just over here wasting time arguing with me when I'm right. Mm-hmm. So keep it going. Is it white. really wasting time though? Yeah. See, this is why I need my lovely Heineken for the podcast. Sponsored. Just kidding. Not sponsored. Sponsored, not by the sponsored. way. Although Heineken, responsibly. Sponsor us. Uh, <sighs> yes, drink responsibly, children of the north. About me? South. Yes. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> I mean, I have this. Yes, that's responsible. Yeah, very superior. responsible. Superior. No, oh, come on, water. Superior. Good lord. It's called water. It's the healthiest choice. It... You should all drink it. Technically, I heard. It. I heard on this one article it wasn't. And then I mean, apparently, it, like... apparently, if you if you put water in like a used uh, Coke uh, like bottle, mm-hmm. uh, if you go to the gym or whatever, it's bad. Because it has lots of bacteria, even though you clean the bottle. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Huh. Well, that's going to be bad. Well, all right. Host. Anyways. Host. Yes, host. <laughs> please take How us. How was please. everybody's week? Is, did anything good happen? Anything bad happen? Um, well, today, as of today of recording the podcast, I had a very good day. Oh, I had a very tell. great day. I had a very great day. Um, so at work, I was like doing really good. Like I wasn't like getting told I was doing bad. So that was good. Positive. That's good. You and get told was... you, you do bad? Well, no, it's not like, well, it's just You're like trash kid. <laughs> I'm trash. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later. No, I, it's just like, okay. Um, like I was able to do everything without somebody telling me, hey, maybe you should do it this way. Or like, like I was ever doing everything kind of right. Without missing, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. When you work in construction, there's like different tricks to, to do. Mm-hmm. Just everything went smoothly today. Why do you sound like Trump there for a second? It a well, tricks, 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 tricks the day. It's tricks tricks. The day. He has a very like not Cody plays accent, so I'm not very good at it. All right, <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Yeah. Anyway, I, I had a very good day today, and I, generally all week has been good. That's good to hear, um, bud. But yeah. Pretty good stuff. Nice, sir. I love it. We Proud of you, know. skunk. I'm doing great, you know. I'm gonna tear up. Please listen. All right, y'all need to say your week, okay? <laughs> I can't just yeah. be the only one here. Whoa. Calm it down. Tone it down. I think you know. I had another casual week. You know, I tried to be somewhat productive, right? You know, I tried to be somewhat unproductive. Mm-hmm. You know. I'm trying to be more trying organized and un- productive. Well, no, like, yeah, because like you don't want to work unproductive. Yeah. Isn't it? Because not because productive. You see, yeah, that's <laughs> what it means. Unproductive <laughs> it means yeah, not yeah. productive. So, I mean, there's parts of the, like I should be watching some videos about my class, but I've been kind of putting them off because we have like another six hours worth of videos to watch. But I'm like, Nah, I'll do something else instead. Like, literally today, I spent like an hour and a half writing a review about my apartment complex. <laughs> because Wait, they what, asked really? me, they asked me to write a review. And so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. Because I mean, that means I won't have to do that. No. And a half. You, an you, you, no, you don't get, no. I just wrote a Google Isn't review, it? posted it on Facebook for them, and then called it a day. Good lord. Okay, so did you trash talk them or? What do you do? No, no. I gave them five stars because, I mean, 
Like, sure, you know, they have their problems, right? But it's like, I'm paying for that level of quality, and it's not like it's their responsibility. So, yeah, like, you know, it's kind of funny what levels or degrees of, like, procrastination we're willing to go to. You know, like, some of us watch YouTube videos or Twitch, or maybe, like, you know, you start cleaning around the house instead because you don't want to do homework or, like, record or whatever. I used to do that with school. When I were, was at home school or like online school, I used to do that all the time. I used to play Overwatch all the time. So, okay. <laughs> Don't do what school. I did, kids. Okay. Yeah, Good that Lord. was Rocket League for me. Although, yeah. I no longer have that downloaded. <gasps> Why? Wait, really? That was one of the big things I, I did like yesterday, the day before. I uninstalled wow. every game, every game on my wow. PC except for Minecraft. Wow. Dedication. Wow. Jesus. Total MC player dedication i'm not doing that that sounds lame well okay so the only reason i did that is because one most of the games that were on my pc i don't play anymore two rocket league was a big time sink uh -huh. so in order to be more productive since i have very little time typically um get rid of distractions hmm. there you go mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean it's good I mean, distraction though good it's fun distraction right you don't dislike the game right no but the thing is it's like when you're playing something it's like first off okay i could be recording this second off right it's kind of like i know i have other stuff to do that i still want to do and that i should do mm -hmm. but then there's rocket league i feel that way all the which time which is easy <laughs> easy to play like i love right. playing it right but it doesn't do anything for me other than pure enjoyment when there's other things that are more productive is recording mm -hmm. streaming that i can do that is yeah. fun that it's taking time away from right and it's cool yeah but yep. good point no. right. that's it i mean yeah i could be playing call of duty right now but i'm, I'm recording a podcast <laughs> Woo! Woo! well i actually like the podcast so you're good yeah yeah, yeah you better say that i like yeah, I like the podcast. I'm not forced Lee to be here. Yeah, Chug. Mm. I mean, just like I wasn't forced to host the podcast, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know, you decided to host the podcast yourself. It was We're great. It was forced. like, man. It's your turn. Okay. My turn? Yeah, your turn. There's, there's no turns for this. Yes, there is. Kind Everybody of. Like, no, not everybody, I think. Oof. <laughs> So who wouldn't Cringe. you want to host the podcast? Uh, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting a call from yeah, my producer right now. He's telling me something. Producer, I, what? Yeah, that's uh, my producer. Cringe. Yeah, see, Jesus, yeah. Jesus is telling. Yep, see, see, Mario greed. Um, I mean, what he was kind hell? of fun and cringe. Man, yeah, unprofessional, yeah. and I'm even the host this week, and you're over here being unprofessional. Sorry. sorry. Hello. Man. Hello, mom. Hello. I'm recording the podcast right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta let I gotta let you go. Uh, hmm. uh huh. Thanks. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. I'm just kidding. Okay, bye. I was getting texts and everything. Good lord. Wow. Twitter Mr. notifications. Pop. Good job, Scott. I'm proud of you. Twitter notif. What did I want to say? I wanted to say something in this podcast. What would the, what what did we just talk about? <laughs> we talked about who did Jay not want to host the podcast? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Oh right. Oh who yeah, my, who my 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 professor was already telling me. Professor, uh, my producer, my producer was telling me that you know we we can't talk about that right now. Sorry. Your professor. I know, I, I, know, I know one person. Uh, I'm sorry. We got, we got to move along. Chop chop, Mister Hosa. Doesn't want Jay to host the podcast. True. That's true. Big true. Big See that I can through. put the work on somebody else. Big brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, my Hello. week was basically what I said, except for mainly school. Yeah. Because classes started this week. Mm -hmm. I have an 8 a.m., which sucks. 8 a.m. classes are not fun, except when the professor is basically, when he walks into class, and one of the first things he says is, I, I approach teaching like it's a story. Oh, good like, lord. Okay. Okay. Cringe. The most... <laughs> Cringe. Cringe. Seriously. <laughs> thank you, you, thank you. Good the lord. Good thing is, it's 8 a.m., uh -huh. and he's the most energetic professor I've ever had. Well, so, that's like, good. I'm staying awake. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. the worst. Like, having the opposite of that is the worst. 
because I remember at, at a college I went to, I literally had to hold my hand like this and like pretend I'm rubbing my eyes because I couldn't keep my eyes open. It was so terrible. It was mm. so boring. I don't know. Okay, he kept talking about life stories instead of what he's supposed to teach us, which uh, I don't know got kind of boring after a while. I don't yeah. like school. I'm you glad I'm not like school. school. I don't. I don't like school. I've Why? had this conversation before. Like I just don't like it. What? What, have... no, what? What specifically, skunk? Like okay, just sitting in a classroom or like I. Learning, I have. Or... I think I have like some sort of like ADD, attention disorder. Like a small dose of it, because I cannot sit through like anything test related. I hate it tests. Just like the town all hall. Stuff. Listen, all right, my attention is <laughs> somewhere else right now. All right, I don't know where Whoa. it is. But... Is it the <clears throat> Heineken talking? Is that what it is? What are you talking about? It has to be it. No, I have my Twix yogurt. Look, Twix yogurt. Twix sponsored by Twitch, which which I will be mm. open cracking open because it was absolutely delicious right now. So. Good job. Eat, eat it on the podcast. Make some ASMR. Gotta imagine. Mm. Imagine. Imagine. Hashtag imagine. All right, host, come on. What that? You know, like you Look, slack. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with some issues here. Apparently, White's getting I'm, text I'm, messages from his producer right now. Apparently, Jesus is saying that my volume is too low, so I have to raise my what? volume because I'm well, yeah, quiet. I I might have him lowered on Discord from the other day when you were too loud. Ah, uh, that's no, probably it. Because it's so, fine for me. I don't want to like you know because in order for me to change your volume, I have to zoom out of the Discord thing, so that would make everybody really small. I mean, just okay. just do it right now, and everyone will know in the in the podcast. I watched that that you're messing with stuff. I've already tuned it up to. I know. Okay. Turned it up. <laughs> oh, I forgot to start my stopwatch. Oh, good lord. This is all met. How? Wait. Yeah, we have to stop at one hour. Otherwise, we have to redo everything. So Exactly. That's, that, that's how podcasts work, you know? Yeah. yeah Jay maximum maximum of an hour, right, Jay? <laughs> maximum. maximum of freaking yeah. two hours. There we go. Oh, let's do it. I'm ready. Longest podcast. I'm ready. Oh, you want to do four? I mean, Painkiller already does four stopwatch. and a half, even five, six, you know. I thought PKA was usually four. It's usually four, but it's done like five hours before and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, you know, if we want to go the extra mile, we could. Four no, hours. thank you. Have you guys ever watched like those, um, those like food videos on YouTube? There's this one where she's like an Asian lady. She's eating like, like she's chasing around this shark on the floor. And then she like, you know, She's like chasing around. She's like, oh, I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. And then she's like running away. Ah, like no. And then, and then she eats it. <laughs> what? It's all, and then, no. then she eats it. She cooks it so, up. Most of us don't it. go in weird rabbit holes on YouTube like you do, like every day. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I do. I do. And we're also not as weird as you. So, like, true. I'm just. No, no, no. Like, this was. I was watching my one YouTuber that I watch normally react to. This video. Wow, and what's that's react how, YouTubers? React I, channels. Oh I my do. goodness. I do. You know I what? One I want to be honest. I want to be honest here. I watch some too, but it's not for the content creator. It's for the content, like the 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 stuff they're reacting to. Ah, uh, right, right. Yeah. Like I don't give a crap about the the creator, honestly. Right, right, right. Because I'm lazy. I don't I go on Reddit and find funny stuff. So. <laughs> That's I don't I think saw. I ever care to like the stuff they react to because typically I see it's just kitchen nightmare stuff. And then also it's like um, one of them watches like a guy that does like parkour. He sneaks into like the tallest buildings in the world and then climbs to tippity top and then gets the police call yeah. it on him because, you know, he's breaking the law uh, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, right. You know, being unsafe be right to wrong. people around him and himself. So it's like, mm. I, don't know, I don't really care for those videos. So because, I mean, I've already seen like all the kitchen nightmares. So it's just like. Come on now, well, you can get other content. I watch yeah. like train derailments and all sorts of things on YouTube. All right, I'm oh, just yeah. saying. I'm just saying, like historical things that have happened. Okay, hmm. like bridge collapsement. What made the Ying Hong bridge just, like, collapse? What, what, what is so interesting about that? I don't know. It just pops up when I recommend it. YouTube well, is very. It interesting. pops up when you recommend it, skunk, because you keep watching it. 
So why yeah. one guy? There's this one guy on YouTube that I'm watching now. He's he's like a medieval. He like lives in medieval times. Like he like has like his own like like horses and cattle and like all sorts of things. And he like he like experiments with making like what they would do back in the day and all that sort of thing. I find it. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool though. Yeah. It's like that's uh... cool. And I found that through YouTube recommended. I don't know how, but I like it now. Yeah. So it's interesting. I don't know. Yeah, mean, for some reason I also kind of enjoy like uh, crafting <sighs> in a way, like people going in into the wilderness and doing stuff. For some reason, oh, even though I never cool. do that in real life. <laughs> oh, that's it's like, cool. the, like the... it's like the opposite of me, but I kind of enjoy watching it for some reason. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be doing it, but you just like to watch it, like the primal I mean, videos or whatever the heck they're called. Yeah, yeah I was gonna I mean, say, is there like a big channel that does that? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I watch some of that. It's getting kind of boring watching those yeah. people. Yeah. I, don't know. I fall asleep to some of that sometimes. Is it's it like ASMR. Night. I have that, I have yeah, that the on jungle, night. Yeah. The jungle ASMR in the background. Yeah, like the clay sounds when he's putting the clay bricks together. <laughs> 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 like, hey, take that how you please, but it, it seriously. <laughs> Good lord. All right, yeah. host. M- m- most of my uh, most of the rabbit holes I go down are usually sports, kitchen nightmares, mm-hmm. or. Yeah, that's most of it. Or like self improvement videos. See, my my dad for some reason he's very interested in like aliens and uh, like mm-hmm. uh, NASA or whatever. Everything space for some right. for some reason. So he's been watching like YouTube recommended videos about like hidden hidden files revealed to the public and NASA or whatever. And then like I alien, get those too. I get alien, those too. anything alien. He just watches even on the like the TV. There's a History channel or whatever it's called. His, mm, his, yeah, his, the know. history channel. That's not really a history channel anymore. Yeah, nope. it's just the alien stuff all the time on there. Mm-hmm. I watch that. Yeah, that is I mean, it's interesting. I Hold on, it's I gotta like, my dog. Uh... <laughs> it's been wow. talking about like the moon, moon landing being fake and everything. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, but uh, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I don't know some of that stuff. You know it's true, but unless you're there to see it, there's, there's always that that sort of idea in the back of your head, like, did that really happen? Do these things really yeah. exist? Like, does this really is this really yes, a thing? But, I mean, there are some legit like weird stuff about like what the uh, Neil Armstrong said after they came back from the moon, and li- like, uh, and the lighting on the moon looks mm-hmm. suspicious to some people. Yeah, that's all I know, but I don't really know. Aliens. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Afterlife rating um RI fifty one. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, boy, let's get together. Field That'd trip. Right. Let's go That'd find Hugh. Awesome. <laughs> who who is the one afterlife member you would want to have with you when rating area fifty one? If you had to choose one person. Oh, interesting. This is an interesting one. I mean KB. not on our topic list. Just I'm just off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, I mean, hmm. I think I know actually. Who? Who? It's, like it, it has to be Jay because of all these weird noises that he makes. Ooga, <laughs> <laughs> ooga, I mean, I was thinking Q because he can do the Naruto run towards there oh, fifty one, and then that oh, means he will be able to dodge all the bullets from there fifty one guards. So. And they or can't see him. There. Oh, and also the aliens are weebs, just like you. Yeah, so see, can... so you can communicate oh, in their true. language. I don't even watch anime, so... That's true. That is I true. mean... Hmm. Wait. And he speaks fluently Japanese. He's no, getting, not there. Really. getting there. <laughs> getting there. He's trying. He's really that's, trying. Yeah. That's like, yeah, Admirable. Okay. I can see that. I can mm-hmm. see being okay. but I mean, you could also want KB. He got the muscles. Yeah, maybe he has some well, he survival techniques. Okay. Um, nah. I mean, everyone wants KB though. For everything, yeah. yeah. So like, KB who else do we got? Like, not Skunk. I don't think so. Oh come on! I'd be so good. Maybe, Skunk does, could be a decent choice if it was Minecraft. If, but we're like, not. We're really not playing really Minecraft here. About. We're getting right, shot, but, like, and we boy can dodge all the bullets, what? and Skunk can't. Because he can't. Skunk can't Naruto run, so or do the other I mean, anime crap. crap. I have a mini gun. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'd sure. Be this isn't oh. Fortnite, bud. Oh. 
All right. Gosh. Uh, sure about that? I get skunk, padded. I get skunk padded like up run, for the occasion. Skunk you know? would run around with like a like a some stairs and like place them in front of him and run up and jump. <laughs> that way you can grow <laughs> like, like two, two, three inches. That way you can be six foot. Oh it's gonna have God. a sign saying you have to be six foot thin. Or... Oh, I can't hey, answer that. That ain't right. Hey. That ain't right. Hey. That's just messed hey. up. No, it should be. It should be. You can't be over six foot. Mm. Only people under mm. six foot. True. Can True. I mean, I feel True. like the majority of Afterlife members are below six feet. So we all short up. I mean, what the heck? Yeah, you guys are short. short. Yeah, you Excuse are. me, you're short. I'm not short. I'm Thank short. You. You're short. I am I'm, slightly I'm, I'm above shorter, average. I think. Yeah, and slightly above average is good enough, White. Right? Yeah. No, here we want to exceed expectations. Well, I don't do that. So <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I want to roast Jay so bad right now. Whoa. Why? Be nice. Do it. Do it. Be, be, be a do good it. host. Do do it. It. You're the no. host. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You're the host. I was going to say. Exceeding expectations, like Jay's upload schedule, right? Oh yeah, God, hey. kind of roasting me too. Oh my no, God, you're, you're fine. Hey, nice yeah, focus, bud. Nice focus. Yeah, it's like I told you Wait, not where? to have the focus on. Hmm. I, mean, I don't mess with my camera settings. Okay. Papega. I don't ever use this thing. This is the second time I've used it. Papega. Like, Peg. Forever. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Papiggy. 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 Right. A poogie. A Peppa Pig. So, are you guys watching any shows right now? We were talking about videos. Peppa you guys Pig. Watching any, any? I had one right that I binge watched in a day or two after its new season came out. Binging with that. You, you guys are probably gonna be like, "Whoa!" Like, you guys are probably gonna overreact because you guys don't know what it's about because the name of the series sounds really bad or weird, and you guys are gonna react weirdly. But I okay. watched season two of Sex Education. I knew it. I knew it. Because I think you told <laughs> yeah, it's on Netflix. Whatever. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty good season. I thought it was one of the best seasons and kind of shined some actual light on like actual sex stuff. And I was like, oh, that's how that works. Because, hmm. well, no, because like they, they make fun <laughs> of that stuff. They make fun that's of stuff crazy. in the show. Okay. But, While like, still sort of educating you on stuff. But, it's like a. I want to ask more details, but I don't know I, if we should go into well, that. Well, it's like a, a. It's a show about British kids being in like a, a like a, That's our high bad. school equivalent or whatever you want to say, and they like all have like sexual problems, and like this one boy who's like the main character has a mom who's like a sex therapist, yeah. and yeah. you know he ends up being the boy ends up being like a kid sex therapist, like providing sex tips mm -hmm. to people around the school, that kind of deal. And yeah. making money, and then yeah. isn't that kind of weird though? I found yeah. the show entertaining. Sex tips. Well, no, they would come to him and be like, "I heard you're a sex guru. You should tell me what? like how to blow up the blah." And they'll be like, "Okay, give me uh, twenty dollars or whatever." I can imagine it being interesting or funny. Yeah, or I, I think you guys would be. Okay, interesting. that could be pretty funny, but yeah. I mean, some of it's like pretty crazy because like like they so... hit the nail on like all the sexual crap. Like, even the weird stuff. That's what she said. Hit the nail on the head. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what she said. I watched the trailer for that show, and I was like, no, that's just going to be too awkward. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to get involved. No thanks. I'll really? stick to my murder shows. I'm good. Only awkward thing about that is that if someone, like, walks in the room, and, and it's, I don't know what's on well, the show, but. No, like, <laughs> like when I watch picture shows. Picture of an erect penis. <laughs> <laughs> When, Wait. When, when I watch shows that the topics are kind of awkward in general, like they're just awkward topics, mm -hmm. I get awkward and I start cringing and then I turn oh, off yeah. the show. So like um a show I can't watch, I've tried, I just can't watch it is is the office. Skunk's videos. <laughs> well, the office is a bit different because it's like the first two or three seasons are kind of cringy. Like once you get over that little mound. Then, then you get yeah, to the gold. You have mm. to get through the first few seasons in order. I mean, to you could theoretically understand. skip it. You don't need them. I I would say, but like, I was always told to skip the first season, and I attempted this to to skip the first season and go into the second season. Mm -hmm. I just I couldn't stand it. 
I just, I yeah, was like, no, I can't do this. It's that's just how I felt. Because I did a group project based off one of the characters in the show, I think, or like a relationship that happened in the show and like describing their relationship and what whatnot. And like, so I had to watch the show because I never watched mm-hmm. it before. And everybody else around me that was in my group watched it like 10 times. I'm like, okay. And I watched the first like two episodes. And I'm like, oh God, what did I get myself into? How does anybody watch this? But then like by the end of the show, I'm like sad because like it ends. And I mean, there's like several characters that leave throughout the seasons. Mm. And it's like even sad seeing that happen. It's like, oh, what do I watch now after all that? Because I think it's like 12 seasons or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's a but, lot. But a lot. is it worth watching? Like, I, I, I also know a lot of people who have, if they like The Office, it's the same thing with Friends, or like these, these certain shows, like they'll watch it like 10 they'll times watch it like all crazy. the way through. I don't, I don't think I'll watch it. How you can watch times. The Office all the way through that many times. I can see you starting after a certain point. Like some people say Parks and Rex is a pretty good show. I watched like a few episodes of that and I was cringing to death too. And I was like, it's probably like the office where you have to skip a season or two and get yourself into it. But like, I just didn't care enough for that. So Mm. I mean, like, sure. I think probably in the office, there's like certain moments where it's like, Ooh, that's kind of cringy. Like, like there, I, I think I I still to this day kind of skip through like cringy moments in a TV show like because like I can't handle it myself like sure it's probably not that bad but I just find it too cringy to where I want to skip like so well for that scene what is what? what would be cringy in the in that I feel like it, isn't it a comedy kind of yeah mm-hmm. how is it cringy it's, it's a mockumentary <laughs> um because uh Steve Carell plays like a really 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 like dumb character. So, yeah. like, a lot of the things he does is, like, really dumb. And, like, you're kind of questioning it, like, oh, that's, like, oh, that hurts me inside. Mm, like, right. uh, like, okay. like him it's talking a, to the girls, him talking to his boss. But, like, so, like, it gets better as it gets on because, like, it's not as cringy because, like, he evolves to be, like, a better human being and more mature and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But, like, there's a lot of that where it's, like, like... Like, you I mean, just wouldn't just, want to be that person kind of deal. I just watch the funny moments on YouTube. Oh, yeah, the funny moments are great. Like, all the stuff like, that's with, all like, I Dwight watch. and Steve Carell and then, like, um... Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Whatever, uh... Um, I don't remember. The Office, is, that, that is the meme, right? Like, the, no! Like the guy screaming no or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Dwight. No. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. No, please, God, no! Wait. Something like that. No, that no. was uh, that was uh, uh, the the boss. Yes, the boss. Yeah, the bo- oh yeah, oh. Steve Carell. Yeah. No, no. Is it not no. the office then? The no, office. that's the office. Okay, okay, okay. That's the office. Jay was just yep. saying the wrong person. Yeah. Mm. No, for for the most part, I watch a lot of murder shows. So like the uh, show, the season I just finished, season five of How to Get Away with Murder. Um. Why, what's, what are you trying so to do we're, here? What are you trying not, to tell us? We're not meeting up with Wyatt anymore. We're not meeting up with him. The, here's the <laughs> thing. I don't nece- necessarily like comedies. I like dramas a lot more. So like like cop shows and like, like NCIS. Um, dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Just, just like shows like that and like murder mystery shows just because of the suspense of it. And like you never know what's what's gonna happen or what's you know who killed who or like death. I don't know. <laughs> mm. I feel like I could get get into that if it was like a a long show with some characters building up and so and then one of them died. But I feel like most yeah. of those shows you're talking about is just like a one episode thing, right? Or well, no, like um, so like how to, how to get away with murder. So like a lot of the other cop shows are more like an episode by episode sort of thing. Yeah, how to get away with murder. Each season basically builds around the murder of one person. Oh, okay. Mm. That's good. And so, like, a lot of times the first half of the season will be, like, everything leading up to that person getting killed or some sort of uh, that person getting killed. or like, And they'll show, like, fast forwards to, like, things that have happened and, like, flashbacks to, like, okay. h- how things happen. And then the second half of the show is after it's happened, how do they try to cover it up, basically? Mm. Because because the 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 premise of the show is there's this lawyer named Annalise Keating, who 
um she teaches at a university or whatever mm-hmm. and the first season she picks like five or six students from her class to start her own practice and they help her it's like an internship sort of thing um and the whole show is basically based around that group of people um when one person gets murdered that, that they know or another person when the da gets killed like when the, the the governor is in is part of corruption and that's getting covered up and um, it's based, mm. it's all they they center on one person getting killed. So spend the first half of the so show explaining nice. how it leads up to that, and the second half of the show how it's getting covered up and all the yeah. court cases and the the drama that mm. surrounds that. Well, that's that so sounds like it can definitely keep your attention. I Is it on one of the streaming services or do you have Netflix. to watch? Okay. Mm. Yep. It's it, it's an ABC show, but they put it on Netflix. Does it just follow one perspective? Like, does it follow like the killer's perspective too, or or just? No, it uh... bounces around from person to person. Okay. So it's more like a third person perspective in terms of. I, the I feel show. like that would be a series where you see one angle from one guy, but then it makes sense when you watch the other guy's angle or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that makes sense, but it sounds like that kind of show. I think or... that would be really cool. That's really cool. I like. That. Yeah, that's like oh, I, that's what happened. Like oh, right, that makes right, sense. right. And the thing yeah. is, like, as the season progresses, like, you get more and more details about what actually happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Leading up to, like, when they actually show so-and-so hit someone over the head with a trophy and now their blood's everywhere. You know, mm. how how that gets covered up. It shows, like, um, how it's really easy to not understand the full truth because they're making guesses as to what happened to try to figure out what happened. And they bounce between, oh, this person did it. Oh, no, they, they didn't do it because this evidence proves that they didn't do it. But, oh, this evidence proves, proves that they do. But, oh, they, mm-hmm. they so-and-so covered up this evidence. Mm-hmm. It's like, wow. it, it can, can kind of be confusing to, to understand all the pieces and what's real and what's not. Like, what's true, what actually happened, huh. and what they just think happened. Mm-hmm. But that has your mind uh, all over the place. I yeah, like it that. requires you to pay attention to every detail. Yes. Yep. And a lot of times, even if you pay attention to all the details, you you can't you you don't guess what ends up happening. Like the 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 last they season, still can't guess it or whatever. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. well, it's very hard to guess what happened until like the very end when they actually show the scene of like what happened. Yeah. Um, but like I won't give any real spoilers. But at the end of the last season, that that's on Netflix. Like every season seem, seemingly ends on a cliffhanger, and like. All of a sudden, two people just disappear. You don't know where they went. They're just wow. gone. Huh. And people are just trying to scramble to figure out what the heck happened to them. Who took them? Right. Hmm. And I'm 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 excited for the next season because I have no idea. I might have to give that a try happen. at some point. Yeah, I will too. Yeah. That sounds very interesting. I like it. Runic, have you been watching anything? Uh, no, not really. Like the, the latest thing I've seen is just The Witcher. So, so I haven't I watched really... it. <laughs> Another week, still haven't watched it. I'm still excited for the next season. I don't, so. I don't really know. Like to be honest, like, hmm. I mean, I know on on uh, Netflix, you season two came out, and that's like supposedly really good, even though it's like about like the obsessive stalker boyfriend kind of guy. But I heard that was really good. Like everybody was raving about it. Everybody at school, like oh. all my classes, they like rave about it. I'm just like. Huh, must be pretty good. I mean, I haven't even seen season one. I haven't seen season one either, but what do you call it? You, Y O U. I think it's literally like the Netflix front uh, front page trailer every time. So, so no, okay. not anymore. Really, the new, episode, the the new um, season of uh, what's it called? Chilling Adventures of Sabrina came out. Oh, so. that's right. So yeah, that's why. Is that egg? Is that a Cartoon Network thing? Sabrina the Witch or whatever? It sounds like it. So apparently there was an old... <laughs> I don't know if it was a cartoon or what it was. The old show that was made. And this yeah, is like a cartoon. remake of it. Like a Netflix make of it, I guess. Mm. Um, I've seen the first two seasons. Kind of because I was forced to watch it. But, you know, because mm. a friend of mine wanted to watch the third season with me. And they were like, well, you know, season three comes out on the 24th. So... I was forced to watch the first two seasons. Mm-hmm. First season was really slow for me. Like, oh. I didn't like it. It didn't get good for me until like halfway through the second season. And yes. I was like, 
oh, now I care about these characters. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of just like Game of Thrones, really. Feels kinda. like a lot of shows start like that. They start really slow. I don't know, I think like, I always like Game of Thrones. Yeah, but okay, yeah, okay. It was season one was good, but like, like the I mean, season I, two I know way people do say that Game of Thrones kind of starts felt slow. Um, like yeah. I feel like a lot of shows they do say that quite a bit, but, but I mean that's probably because they're trying to secure if they're gonna get a, another season or not, or see like if they're actually good or not. Mm, probably how it is. Yeah. Wasn't the uh, Walking Dead like that too? Wasn't the first Prob season really slow? Huh. Or like semi slow, slower. Uh, I, I think The Walking Dead was good all the way. Through, I can't remember so long ago. up until I stopped watching it. <laughs> I don't know. Like you see, I'm not really critical of stuff, so I'm just like, oh, that's pretty right. good. Unless it's like really, really slow or like repetitive, then I'm like, this is just the same thing. Like, why am I watching it? Like that's how I kind of felt with some of the Marvel TV shows on Netflix. I'm like, I don't know. I felt like some of them were really slow or just dry. Or, I mean. Maybe I mean I was for sure in the minority because a lot of people like Daredevil or like Jessica Jones and I'm like I watched I maybe like um, half the season of Jessica Jones and I was like nope done. You didn't like Jessica Jones? No, I, I thought that was probably like one of the it. worst Marvel TV shows. I couldn't get through it. The only two out of the, out of the, so there were the four there was Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron, Iron Fist. Fist, and of course there was the Defenders or whatever. Was that, that was on okay? Netflix? I thought I thought one of them was like a specific TV show, like on TV. All on Netflix. But the, the, the Defender series was all four of them yeah. together. That was a Netflix special. Special series. The mm. only two I really liked were Daredevil and, and Jessica Jones. I could not get into Luke Cage. I think I watched like part of the first I I think I watched the whole first season. It I don't know. It was okay. And then the Iron Fist was just Cringe. Like, to me, it was just cringe. Yeah, well, I mean, it's supposed to be an Asian guy playing the actor, but it's a white guy, so. Mm. Yeah, it was, I don't know. It yeah, just, just, I don't know. I felt like, why do we have Iron Fist and Luke Cage? They both kind of do the same thing. In a yeah. Way. And honestly, to me, the characters of, of Daredevil and Jessica Jones were a lot more interesting. I didn't find I mean, Jessica Daredevil's Jones an interesting one, but. Like... Daredevil. <laughs> I pushed through it to get some entertainment. Luke Cage first season was good because of the villain, but then he got replaced with another villain. So, yeah. hmm. How I felt about Daredevil. Like the first season was good because of the villain, but I don't know. I could I didn't watch season two. I just didn't like I start I started it and then I didn't watch it. So. I would like to see a series where the villain is the main character. Oh, like, that, like a different Punisher different point of view. Yeah, we forgot the Punisher. The Punisher is the best oh, yeah, Marvel yeah, yeah, yeah. TV show. There we go. That's my favorite. Yep. Punisher is that a villain? Or... Yeah, that was that it was kinda the is, villain. Kind of isn't. Well, so he's a villain technically. Public perceives him as a villain. Yeah, he's more. Of a... oh, okay. Well, that's cool. It's more of like a vigilante character. Yeah. Except the ruthless vigilante. Yes. Very lots mm. of blood in that show. Yeah, another yeah. show that I've been kind of watching has, is not really a show. I guess it's a Twitch show. So there's a oh. streamer on certain days. He does. He it's called the Healthy Gamer, I think, where he does therapy with people. And no, that is. Yeah. He's talked to like Lily Pichu. He's talked to Recful and other streamers about like you know their problems. Like Recful has been in a rut like the past five years and like what's the causes and whatever else so i find the one that, that really got me is that he recently talked to sky williams i don't know how much you know about sky williams but his battle with depression has been long <laughs> and so the seeing him on that show was really cool because first off to see people it's basically therapy but yeah. for the world to see yeah like to have the confidence to basically go into a therapy session that probably hundreds of thousands of people are, are going to end up seeing. Oh, yeah. Um, I like, know Lily Pichu did it on the stream and then posted the video. I think her video got countless hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. Mm. I mean, it works. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. 
people i mean i find i find it interesting to hear about what happens you know his way of going about like you know solving or asking methodical questions of like trying to maybe guide you in a better direction than you are like how he responds to people's questions like the person that's asking him a question like i know Reckful asked him like what do you think about me doing drugs and he's like he gave like a pretty good answer to where like Reckful was like i'm glad you actually said what you said because like that made me feel better mm, so like i don't know so that's one of the other things that i've been watching now it's lots of shows it's really cool like yeah. i yeah it's really cool <laughs> mm. uh, but speaking oh, of twitch gosh twitch we can wow. go ahead and talk about Ninja. This is a little bit of, of some old It's not really Twitch anymore, though. <laughs> yeah, that's Mixer. <laughs> Mixer. 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 Yeah, it's still Twitch. Still Twitch. And Pokemon. Because there's also, and Pokemon. also Pokemon there as well. Um, but speaking of yeah. streamers, Ninja Round two. got his own Fortnite skin in Fortnite. The only, I'm pretty sure the only streamer, the only content creator to ever yeah. get that. Technically. Truly. Technically. Yeah, truly. I mean, you know, so yeah. this skin and that skin can be compared yeah. to said streamers but this is officially his skin yeah that's that's a big move because i didn't think epic games would do that because it's been so long and ninjas kind of died off uh, so like you would think they would do it at the uh, height of his popularity you would think it's, so but i think they wanted to keep more money for themselves and now they probably realize money's going down so now they can realize money can go up again by doing an easy cash mm, grab move. Right. They would have earned so much more if they did it earlier, though. Yeah. Uh, like around the time when, when he met Drake or whatever. I feel like that that time, maybe. Maybe maybe not right then, but after like, that. Like a month yeah. or two after that. Well, I don't yeah. think they wanted to give a cut, period. That's probably why. Now they're probably more accepting of giving a cut because the game is declining. That's how I imagine it. I feel like it's a win-win no matter what cut you give, though, right? Eh, not necessarily, I feel. Like, because then eventually everybody's going to start expecting a skin, and now I guess they yeah. get to see everybody's true colors, like who stuck around with the game until now kind of deal. That's like, true. You know, there's specific Fortnite streamers that have, like, freaking, like, punched Epic Games in the face, constantly railing them for, like, all the changes they've made in a bad <laughs> way. Yep. And Ninja is the one to be like, you know, we shouldn't talk like that. We should be talking about the game more constructively and positively. So, I mean, that of makes course. a lot more sense why he's been acting that way, because that's probably been in the works for a while. Maybe he did that on purpose. Probably. I mean, I think one of the, I think the streamer that he was, like, talking about when he was quoting them about, like, being more constructive, I think was already on the Epic Games blacklist, so. I think I know, too. Maybe. I think it's Avery, right? Was it Avery or was it Dakotas? I was them, thinking Dakota, One of them's on the blacklist. I, know I was going to say, is Dakotas sure. on the blacklist? I know he and Ninja kind of went at it a little while ago now. I think Dakotas might be on the blacklist from Epic Games. Like, doesn't get, like, invited to certain events from them and whatnot because of, like, how rude he was towards them on Twitter, I think, at one point. Yeah. Mm. I kind of agree with Ninja on all those things. Like, people are complaining too much and... I don't know. If you can, if you can complain more constructively, then go at it. Yeah, that's fine. But if you, I don't know. I feel like, like, yeah, when you just poop on the game over and over, then it's just like, how's that going to be a win for you? Like, if you always complain about the game that you mainly play, like you're helping killing your money source. So I don't know. And the sad part is that some of them keep playing it too. After it's like so obvious that they're doing it for the money. Then to to me, honestly. It, yeah, it might be for the money. It might be because they don't know what else to do. And they're That's really true. afraid that people are just going to forget about them if I they know, go to something yeah, else. You should avoid talking trash about the game if that is the case, though. Yeah. I know That's one of them is trying... I don't know if it was Dakotas or if it was Avery uh, was trying to stream other games like GTA Five and whatnot. So one of them is at least trying. I don't know if it's the correct person that you know I'm thinking of, but I know one of them tweeted about it. I mix them up since they both seem the same person to me for some reason. But yeah, it's not the same person. I, I'm Speed aware of that. Skin. Why are they not making more? Isn't this series called more? Icon? Yeah, Icon. Icon back. So who who do Tim. you think will? Do you think Tim will get one? 
Oh, he has to. Him. Come on. I would hope so. I don't. I don't think he's ever said anything bad about Fortnite. No, he's always been like one of the most genuine people about it. Like, if anything, I would. I would have thought, you know, like if Tim and Ninja were both the same size, I would think Tim would get it first over Ninja. I also because, feel like yeah. oh, for sure, they're probably yeah. going to give Dr. Lupo one as well, maybe. Has to. Has yeah. to give some form because of like the amount of money he's raised for charity, how he's typically been really nice towards the games. He's even hosted tournaments, so, you know, he has a yeah. pretty good relationship, I imagine. Or he's probably going to make it where all the proceeds that is raised from his skin go to charity, so. I could see that being that'd the thing. Be, that'd be actually really cool if he did that. That would work pretty well. So, what about courage? That'd be cool. I mean, he's uh, been always nice towards them, so yeah, I could see him getting a skin. Does right. he even play Fortnite he's anymore? Host- I don't follow yeah, he a lot does. of these guys. He's on it YouTube now, on so that's why. He probably depends on many they're gonna make. He'd probably be last on the totem pole, though. I feel like out of he's all the people, he's a lot smaller, so that's why. I feel like he'd be yeah. And then also so. he streams on YouTube, so he's a lot smaller now. Right. Oh, speaking of YouTube, I just saw this today. Overwatch League is moving to YouTube. <laughs> well, and they're killing it. Today. They're killing it. Oh my god! I, I don't know if I can find the tweet. It should be on the kind official. Dying to be honest. They just know. need to make the YouTube thing better looking, in my opinion. Uh, no, they have a lot more to do than that. That's a. They're officially killing it. Like. Th- that makes yeah, no yeah, sense. Man. How there's no way. Are they really switching to YouTube after Twitch put all that work to make Overwatch League all access, whatever, where you spend like right. twenty, thirty dollars a month for all these extra streams? Oh gosh, that's so stupid of them. Wow. Like, I mean, first wow. off, I mean, I- I'm glad Twitch didn't you know pay them the money because Overwatch League isn't worth it. I hope they don't pay the COD League any money because that's not worth any money either. They're both gonna burn. It's a multi-year deal, deal too. They killed it. Oh god! Wait, multi-year? That's, that's like, like three, three years. Year. Oh, three years. Okay. It's probably yeah. I would think it'd be it's three, years. three years. Hmm. That's typically how it is. They're killing the game. They're killing the league. Oh my gosh. The game's dying. The well, the game is already dead. I think it. So, hmm. not just Overwatch League. I don't know if you guys oh, knew this. Is it? Call of Duty, Hearthstone. Wait, what? And it's the World of Warcraft stuff. Well, nobody cares it's about WoW. Moving too. Unless, uh, okay, it says it will be live streamed and available on demand on their respective YouTube channels. So, oh, well, no. So, okay, is, it only, is, like is it only YouTube. so? Is it only on YouTube, or is it both, or is it? This announcement doesn't say. I have to look further into it, but I mean, Hearthstone has been on YouTube for a very long time and on Twitch. So, okay. But, well, uh, it's both, and it's both. It's kind of dumb if they do that, though. It's so dumb. Because YouTube gaming. Yeah. I Woo! mean, I mean, it's good for you too. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're trying to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So based off this Reddit post, Overwatch League will now be exclusively be live streamed on YouTube wow. instead of Twitch. Now. I don't watch Yikes. it anyway. So. Yikes. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know who I follow that tweeted that or quoted the tweet. But I looked at. It, I'm like, oh, oh, gosh. I mean, I used to watch Overwatch League years ago, so mm. I haven't, I haven't, I, I stopped a long time ago, so I don't really watch anymore. But I was like, "Oh, Jevin, yeah, Jevin quoted it." I was like, Ooh. Ooh. "They just killed everything." Like, I don't understand how stupid they can be. Like, sure, money talks, but that kind of money doesn't buy enough viewership on that platform to where it makes it. They can. It- they can stream Overwatch 2, right? On Twitch? <laughs> well, Overwatch not the Overwatch League. League. Oh. Overwatch, Overwatch League 2. two. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Overwatch 2 League. Yeah, exactly. Get out of here with that. It's not the like, same game. <laughs> like, I already thought Call of Duty Probably. League was going to be a failure because it was even on Twitch. But now that it's on YouTube, like that's the biggest failure. I mean, at least it's not on like Mixer or Facebook. But, like, or what is it? Uh... What is what is what is the other one that people stream on to that caffeine? Uh, yeah, that one. At least it's not caffeine either. Like, oh god, like man, you they must, you two must have you two must have wrote a I'm big check. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, sure. God, they should spend more. 
money on fixing their stuff though <laughs> instead of like doing that well i mean it's a partnership with dent. google supposedly not really yeah, YouTube, yeah it's a partnership with, with google, google cloud uh right for hosting infrastructure so mm. see how it goes i guess but it's gonna go oh it's gonna burn yeah. Good lord. I mean, I know bad. YouTube at least has drops or like a form of drops, but like still, like you're missing out on a lot of things on YouTube. How many Twitch streamers or things primarily streamed on Twitch have moved to other platforms in the past year? A lot, a good bit. It's not too I would many say a fair that bit. I watch, but I mean, maybe like 10 things that I can think of. Like, yeah. are there they things that I probably ones, care about? But... Probably not. GTA yeah, Fire all this play. stuff. I don't. <laughs> it's not I enough. I don't recognize anybody. Well, Valkyrie here. moved over to YouTube. I mean, that's something that happened like a week or two ago. Oh. Uh, but Fortnite streamer slash variety gamer, a part of Hundred Thieves, just like Curse JD, moved over to YouTube. But I don't think they're buying the right people. That's yeah. the problem. It's like hey. you need to steal Doctor Disrespect, Tim the Tap Me, and refix your whole freaking site from how bad it crap like it is. Like Mixer mm. has its problems, YouTube has a lot of problems, but they're still not fixing it. I'm starting to not mind Mixer too much. It's like the second best streaming website. I feel like. Mm. I mean, YouTube, I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't go to Mixer so. <laughs> I'll go there occasionally, like like um when Shroud and Ninja first moved over. I went there just for the free sub for the first month. Yeah, oh, I think Ninja was <laughs> two months, or two months, oh, whatever yeah. it was. Although I didn't watch them all that much. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm looking at YouTube gaming right now, and the top three live streams: Call of Duty, Lachlan, who's mainly a YouTuber, and League of Legends. Yeah, this should be big because Call of Duty has its um event this weekend. Yeah. Oh. The but opening only for the CBL. Thousand people watching. So how big is it really? Yeah, it's pretty small. Well, I mean, it was never going to yeah. be that big, regardless, because on Twitch it was still like hundred k viewers max. Because they they killed it off even more by franchising the Call of Duty League too. So yeah, I don't see franchising working for esports, but you know, yeah. Blizzard slash Activision is more than welcome to keep trying, and then. Burning the esports scene to the ground. Besides, um, uh, mm -hmm. Riot Games doing a great job over there. I mean, they're still on top with their yeah. franchising model. Mm. Well, they're doing a lot of things wrong recently, especially in in WoW and all that stuff. Hearthstone, WoW. I don't know. They're, they're they're messing everything up. Yep. They were doing good, and now they're doing bad. No, they haven't been doing good for a while. They did there was good. A time. If you're talking specifically about WoW, they did good in Legion, but yeah, that's like two, three years ago. I think it's been yeah. like a good four or five years of bad, bad, bad for them. Yeah. Has there any, been anything great esports wise recently? The only thing I think was Fortnite. Yeah, what do you mean, no, like I new games, or what are we talking about? Yeah. What do you mean, Just, esports? Because it seems like everything we're talking about that's done well, but like, wow, this was great, was like three years ago. Well, I mean, you could be like, you know, <laughs> League still does great wrong. things. Uh, I mean, CSGO, League's a constant, though. CSGO like, League does is great the things. Top sport. Dota right. does great things. You ever watch Dota? <laughs> yeah, Dota had a bigger prize pool than Fortnite, I believe, or whatever, like bigger... That's, winning overall that's crazy winning. to me because I've never because people that. people fund like they fund rate like people donate to make the prize pool and then I think uh, Valve also donates money to it kind mm -hmm. of even though Dota is still like on the back burner of things and so mm. yeah like I I don't know anybody who plays Dota I don't know anybody who watches Dota I don't know anybody mm. who cares about Dota <laughs> well people are right willing there. to put the effort there because they don't like League I right. guess I mean I've what never played this? either one so. I don't even know what it stands for. <laughs> Defender of the... Oh. Defender of the arena, maybe? Arches? Ar I, I don't know. I need to Google this. I don't know. So, yeah. so. Defense of the Ancients. Ancients. Defense yeah. of the Ancients. The Ancients. Oh, I was kind of close. The the Defender of the... 
mm. defense off. Just, I don't know. I like, don't know. The, I, I just never liked it above, like far above, above the character stuff. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I'm an Asian, so I'm supposed to be good at it, but I still haven't even tried it. To try it. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe right. I can go pro. Maybe I can go pro at something. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe you can actually be good at something. Life, okay? Yeah. Dude. Oh god. That's We're gonna start brutal. an afterlife league team, you guys. Um okay. Nobody here's I never green, want to okay? league. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You're off, I'll you're off, you're off. High you're five. Off. High five. Well, I mean Renick, you're 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 Norwegian, so maybe you can like get a pass in CSGO. Are you good at CSGO at least? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, we got we got Mario. He's Chinese, so I'm maybe you can get a pass and leak. <laughs> Skunk, nobody cares about Call of Duty. We just heard it has <laughs> fifty thousand viewers. Like that's nothing. Listen, I'm good at Overwatch. Like when when Call of it Duty used to be good. Yeah, so Overwatch good. used to be good. Now it's nothing. It's on <laughs> YouTube now. Who cares about YouTube? <laughs> I'm good at Minecraft. Oh my gosh, we're gonna, you guys, yeah, we're gonna, uh, wait, what was that, well, yeah, yeah, there we go, I was like, what was that team's name that went nowhere? It's still a thing, apparently. Well, yeah, I think, what, is it Great Apple Sauce that still does something with it, kind of? Yeah, what was it called again, Team? Team Team Flux. 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 Yeah, Pirate Fearless, Great Great Apple Sauce. Great Apple Sauce, yummy. I think it's kind of crazy, I think that's really it. Minecraft Team Flux? Don't know else. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. do they have channel names? Oh. So it was Grape Applesauce. Private Fearless. Creeper Farts before he turned into a uh Roblox Robot. channel. Solar Flare. Mm-hmm. And Huawei. Yeah, but we're talking about now though, I thought. Oh now? I mean that was the original team. Now oh. I don't even know they even exist now. Oh, uh, they still technically do, I think. That's Everyone what I thought we were talking about. Could, like I know the same thing now. I know I still see something in one of their descriptions about it, or it might be a Minecraft server now. I think maybe. Mm, oh, yeah. That was always yeah, the PvP so. group. No, because no one of them turned it into a server. I think or still has it around as a group. Like you have to look through their descriptions. I think, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's there. Somewhere. I don't see it on grapes videos. I don't know. I wonder I just how, how long. It. I really wonder how long that Minecraft UHC butts stuff is gonna work out for them. Uh, probably like another yeah. month or two, and then it's gonna. You think so? Hasn't it lasted for like six months now? I feel like it's been no, ages. It's been, like it's, it's been a while. Months. It feels like it's been a while. Yeah, Hold I on. just see Minecraft butts everywhere, dude. It's so annoying. <laughs> Well, Rinick, you can do it. Yeah, it's only been three or four months, but it feels like it's been forever. Well, I mean, it's just oh, no. because you can't get that. people doing it. Too. Let's see. I think Isaac's been doing it for... It's so funny. Okay. It's like, they had... Yeah. The, their channels were dying, and then they all start doing Minecraft Bud, and it goes up by double or triple or or quadruple the, the private fearless the views. It's like Isaac's channel just went. Whoa. He used to yeah. struggle a lot. Now it's like mm. there yeah, is no struggle to get like happening a couple here. thousand views videos. Is it is like... it bad? Is it bad that I somehow or kind of hope that it goes down again after oh, they will. done with that? They will eventually. I actually hope they do. It's it's <laughs> okay. Rudy oh, is now on their hit too. list. Yeah, he's been yeah. doing it. Holy crap! What? All right. It's just gonna get like a million views a video now. Yeah, a lot of them do that. Wait, great? What? Yeah. Grazer. Oh, Grazer. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. been exploding for that it's stuff. Like, what? Are yeah. you kidding me? White, it looks like you know what you need to do now. Minecraft. <laughs> also, I was gonna say, you know also, that, is that either that or like transform a, a Minecraft village. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. that's a bit but, late now. I don't think that works anymore. Yeah. Also, if you compare their videos, it's like they have the exact same format Probably. all the time. Like they have some text on a black screen, and then well, I mean, bunch of stuff they probably all just share like the same editor or same like project yeah. file for Premiere, and just like yeah, <laughs> yep. Just just send over your videos yeah. on Dropbox. I'll I'll, I'll copy paste the effects in. <laughs> it's almost Here, like have the script. Yeah, it's almost like anyone can do it now if they just have the same editing. 
Mm. Technically, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> it's just, uh, uh, yeah. There's yeah. everybody. All looks like a lot of the old cube members are doing it, and friends mm-hmm. of the cube. We're yeah. still uploading at least. Wow. I just never. I just never really liked. Uh, typical things like if something becomes so normal that it gets annoying i try not to do it if that makes sense it's kind of kind of like uh hearthstone yeah. kind of like hearthstone i don't like playing mm. the most popular things because it gets it, it gets annoying for me or to me for some reason well i mean that like, just might because it feels like cheap and then it gets repetitive too yeah, it's just like YouTube. It's like they're doing the same thing all the time. Everyone's growing on it. It's like I don't want to do that because it, I don't know, it just feels fake to me now <laughs> for some reason. It feels like everyone else is doing it, and I don't want to do what everyone else is doing. Yeah, you want to stand out, <laughs> right? I want to do my thing. <laughs> yeah, I get that because I thought about doing like those village re- like recreation videos. I don't, I don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, I know quite a, quite a few people I mean, like, that I follow. Who just have, be the same, and I mean, like, it's not like they're trying to use it for views. At least the people I know, right? Some, some of them are the ones who started it, you know. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I, 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 I meant like the main, like the biggest of the biggest. Stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, like mm-hmm. building a village or whatever. You, that's still unique because you're doing your own theme or buildings, and it takes a lot of work. Yeah. Like it's a lot of work for one video. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but just tra- like the transformation videos, like transforming a, a, a end city, transforming a, a it's like uh, Isn't that something really... that um, one of those hermitcraft people did. What's it called again? The guy with the red shirt and like Brian. blonde. Oh uh, yeah, Brian. Uh, Brian. Oh, Brian. 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 He does a lot Brian. Of that. I don't think Brian yeah. did that. He does. I've been watching it sometimes. He, he's done does a few, he? I think. Yeah, he's like the, in like I don't know, the ringleader of that kind of stuff. So. Hmm. But that's not really the, that's not really that annoying to me though. No, I don't know. It's not that it's annoying. It's just like I don't want to like do I don't want to do anybody else's ideas in terms of videos. Yeah. That's why I don't watch a lot of other Minecraft YouTubers besides Afterlife. So the only mm-hmm. ones I watch are like Green and Mumbo. I it. try really hard, and I, I I did this when I first started YouTube, and I got away from it. Now I'm getting back to it. I try really hard to watch a lot of smaller YouTubers, and I'm finding new ones every day mm-hmm. that like have great quality, but have like 50 subscribers. You still find and those? Like, yeah, I have a few actually that 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 I watch. It gets most of them are on, they're on other servers, and they're like. You know, just kind of, kind of doing their own thing. Yeah, but they're they still exist, and there's lots of people, lots of small, especially right. Minecraft YouTubers starting. Like, not as many. I don't think there's as many as there used to be, but I still no, find definitely it. not as many. But and it's like, and the and the quality, and everybody I find, everybody is inspired by Hermitcraft. Everybody, yeah. just yeah. like it was Minecraft thing. back in the day. Right. There's nothing else to look forward to besides Hermitcraft, so. And Hermitcraft is basically, Hermitcraft is, I would say, at least three times bigger than Minecraft ever was. Yeah, for sure. I think there is one other server that's growing a lot too. Um, source block. What's it called? Wh- no. Whips. I mean, Whips? source block technically. No, source block, yeah. it's not, aren't not they? growing that quickly. It's not growing, but they have a lot of more. They have prominent, prominent YouTubers, figures, but I feel yeah, like right. they've already plateaued with that. Like, if they yeah. want to grow, Source Block is not the way. Like, they need to do their own videos if they actually want to grow. I don't know if I don't know if you guys watched uh, Chimney Swift back in the day. I did, yes. but apparently he joined Source Block. <laughs> yeah, he only yep. did one video, and that was like a month. Yeah, and a half I was ago. wondering. Yeah. Wow. Um, did, well, did he actually quit? just released another video five hours oh. ago. So, jokes on you. Speak of the devil. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not scheduled. subscribed to him. So. Jimmy Swift. Oh, he, hey, uh, Jay uh, schedule. Uh, I like that. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yep. Speak <laughs> of the devil. Hmm. It's Speak like Riddick set me up with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah. The only person I'm watching on Source Block is is Swip, and 
don't know. It, it is pretty fun to watch some of those guys on a server. Mm-hmm. Um, because some of them, like most of them, I've seen on different servers, like beef on Hermitcraft and Minecraft, sausage and flip on, um, decidedly vanilla. No, was it, was sausage decidedly, decidedly vanilla? I think he was he. I don't know if he was, but flip was definitely on on decidedly vanilla. Was he? I don't. I never heard of it. <laughs> You've never heard of decidedly vanilla. <laughs> no, I oh, never. Okay. I've never heard of it either. Um, <laughs> people who have been on decidedly vanilla. Nash Crafter, Pixel Rifts, I think Sloyd was on there. Um, Flip. Think, think Sloyd? Sloyd. Sloyd XP, XP, one of, people, one of the people who does the Hermitcraft recap. Or Pixel Rifts. Writer, editor thing, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I thought you said Pink Floyd for a second. Pink Floyd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Floyd. boy. Yeah. Hermitcraft got the connections right there. <laughs> there yeah. they do. Damn right. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, Jay. Time check. Uh, you still got you not like answer. another you ten not minutes, answer. boy. I got. I, I got. I gotta be. I gotta be the host, blonde skunk, once in a while. Okay. You still got like one more topic in. Okay. Jay, Is there any topics you guys would, would would like to go over that we haven't that we haven't discussed yet? Well, why? I, I think you should decide for yourself since you are the host and. You know, I want to make sure that this podcast is most related to you. We could right. probably rush through this, the last couple of topics real quick. No, maybe. I don't think we need to do that. Okay. Well, I think, uh, we, favorite I, I feel like one. <laughs> favorite Afterlife memory. Who has a favorite Afterlife? Because we're all from like, you know, you guys got history, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty old, yeah, so. You're all old. I'm Jay's the you are the newest blood old. technically. So skunk. Yeah, I'm. I'm and like then young, technically young Rick would then be also partially newer now. He's been rebirthed, reborn. Yeah, reborn. I don't know. I I would consider Runic to be an older member. Yeah. Than skunk and myself. Oh, yeah. geez. definitely not me. I'm oh I'm like I'm a newie. So yeah, it doesn't feel like that though. It doesn't feel what like that. What do you mean? Yeah, no, you feel like a, if I was a, like a, a, a granddad, you would be an uncle. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't cool. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. I take that. Okay, favorite afterlife member, go. I've got mine, but it wasn't okay, while I was on the server. Whoa. It was in season one. It was the prank on, it was the Irish prank on Hutchie. That was a oh, great Oh, yeah. Prank. That started like, I feel like that started a lot of the jokes. Who's whose video did you watch for that? <laughs> I hope a, it's me. So Casey was involved in that, right? Kibitz and the captain. It was just Kibitz. It was just Kibitz because Captain was probably still in Mexico. Um, I, th- I think I watched their video on it actually, hmm. or Kibitz's video on it. Because you were in it, right, Rudy? And I was in it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, well, I definitely didn't watch Jay's. <laughs> just kind of just want to spam Damn. this button right now, but I'm not gonna do that. Cringe, cringe. Welcome yeah, you guys. Well, yeah. welcome you guys. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, you guys. Yeah. welcome you guys. It's uh, time, you guys. It's, it's time, time, you guys. It's time. It's time. No, that that was that was really cool. That was one of my one of my favorite things to watch. One of my favorite pranks of all time. Probably my favorite prank of all time. Yeah, yeah, it was, was small too. Yeah. Like it didn't have to be that crazy. It looked pretty it was cool. Just, it was just good because of the whole joke about Irish and, and uh, stuff yeah. around Hutchie with that stuff. Because he would get so like, I'm not Irish up about it. Yeah. <laughs> All he had to do is say the word Irish. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, oh my god, good Lord. Dude. That in, in the Illuminati from actually... season one, but yeah. Oh yeah. Because Jay built like an Illuminati thing on the map or something, didn't he? No. Didn't he? Someone else built it, but Jay was the, the ringleader? Padre did it. Oh. Oh, would a con do that? Yes, he built it. Huh. Like, kind of stir things up more? In a way? Mm. Didn't you have a pyramid somewhere with like Illuminati stuff in it? Yeah. Was was that why, or uh, he built it, or was that before or oh, after? No, he... I feel like I think KS kind of helped jumpstart it. 
he was like a part of it in a way, and then I took over when he left. Yeah, well, like, yeah, the, a lot of the reason I knew about all the Illuminati stuff was because I mainly watched KS. So, like, he would talk about it a lot. <laughs> it seemed like. KS was the one ringleading it, and then he left, and then it fell on me. So. And we know what happens when people when things fall on you, Jay. Yep, they end up like the podcast. What like what like the podcast? What nothing, happened? Nothing. I mean, this iteration yeah. of, po- of the podcast is doing pretty well. It's. It, I think it's better. Definitely it's better. better. Good. Speaking of like, KS, though, it used to play on a, a server that I had back in the day called RuneCraft or something stupid like that. And I think that's where I met him. I, I don't think he did YouTube back then. I think I actually gave him my second Minecraft account, which he used on, on Afterlife Season 1 for a while. I remember seeing that name. It was Horror Titan, I think. Yeah. I remember seeing that. I'm like, wait, wait, Horror Titan, Runic Titan. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> wait, did you actually make that connection? I made the connection. It was, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I made the connection. I, like, I, I, wonder, I wonder if he actually used to watch me or if he just joined the server randomly. Probably just yeah, randomly. Ask him <laughs> yourself. I mean, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't. I can't think of any. I mean, there's I there's a one. lot of good moments in Afterlife season one, but yeah. I don't. I'm I'm not even sure. I have one. I can't think of anything. Season two, the Afterlife streaming event plus Skunk, Battle of Skunkerton Castle. That was pretty yeah, as chaotic pretty that, as that was for me to help, like right, like, because you know we still, didn't we didn't have a great really way good. for having items being refilled. That was right. a bit painful. Did I? Yeah, that? it was fun. That, that live stream was... event was painful. It was, but it was but fun, it was, but it was painful. It was fun. It was fun. It was. Oh. Building what the was map. Something Dragon that? Frost said. That was great. I don't what? remember. Something about depression in a cup, right? Yes. <laughs> what? I remember people just started laughing about that. Everyone who was on the stream at that point. I don't even remember the context of it. That, that? that just became a running that. joke yeah. for weeks. Was he was, I think he was building with somebody, or he was supposed to be building in the in the winter area with uh, with like Night Fox and um, yeah. some like I think two other people with him. I was think Berlin Hachi. there? I don't know. I could possibly. Night Fox definitely was. Oh gosh! I just oh. Okay. Was well. it me, Netflix, Night Fox, and uh, Netflix? <laughs> what? What'd you just say, bud? Netflix. Netflix? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's a beer. Uh, <laughs> okay. Nice, Nightfox bud. And Dragon Frost and me, I think it was, and we were building Santa's factory uh, or whatever. Mm, it was. Might have been that Santa's, Santa's house. I think that's what it was. Because I remember cracking up at that, and I don't remember why. Well, I think a lot of people were dying from that because they didn't know how to well, react. I, I wasn't watching at the point. I think I was eating dinner or something. I wasn't there, and right, I came right. back. And that was just a joke. I'm like, what, where, did, where did this come from? What, why is this important? I don't understand. Right. It was just stupid. I don't know. I can't remember. But that was <sighs> good. The streaming event was really fun. Um... And just the battle of Skunkerton Castle, planning all that out, like making mm-hmm. all those different classes and like uh, making the map for that. Like yeah. Separate little oh, map. Yeah. That was so much fun to work on. It was very and... interesting hoping that, you know, everything was going to work out as planned. Right. Oh, yeah. We were like, oh, I hope this works like, out. Yeah, but, let it pray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But mm. in the end, I think it was definitely worth it. Cause, you know, oh, yeah. It's a memory. Good memories. So. I, d- I do wish in season three we, w- we would do more big group events. Like, yeah, I'm a horrible. That would be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, to answer for <laughs> what that what that moment was, it looks like it was Skunk and Night Fox for building Santa's house with Dragon Frost at. I was correct. Seven p.m. Oh. EST. Yeah, I probably was eating dinner at that point. I was on my on my. Yeah, because you were on for Battle for Skunkerton, and then. You had to be in the closing with me, instant. Oh well, yeah, I was in the closing. I did. Um, you did many games. You did Battle for Skunkerton, Intro and Tour, and then Christmas Tree stuff. 
Yeah. Yep. Okay. That was a fun time. Fun. Mm. Love it. Fun, fun. Okay, fun, Jay. Fun, fun. In a Your turn. I don't know if like I have a real moment that comes to you know mine. Like typically, all the moments that I think of. You know, when I think of memories of Afterlife, it immediately does not end up good. <laughs> like, oh, all, mm, all, all my mm. thoughts are like, bad, bad, <laughs> bad. I wonder what oh, that could bad, be. <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh. I mean, like, it could be a number of like 20 like, different things right now. So. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I have a track record of a lot of bad memories. So, um, I, mean, lot, I mean, in particular, a lot of bad things happened in season one. Like, there's <laughs> one memory that, like, will always I mean, probably, like, that, Renek, stick like, with Maybe me. I should just leave. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There's <laughs> one memory that, for some reason, has always stuck with me. I don't know. Maybe it was a lot of fun and stupidity. But it was just simply when Spawn was, like, still brand new, empty. I think the actual Spawn structure was still being partially built. And there were, like, no houses built in the residential area yet. But for some reason, I had Rectify. It was season one. Season one. Yeah. I had Rectify just shooting arrows at me and I was dodging it like the little golf boy. Is like, that you why know? you shoot the skunk now? Oh well, no, that was like <laughs> it was like a freaking driving range and like you're hitting the ball or whatever, except that he's shooting arrows at me. I'm trying to dodge and weave and not die. But for <laughs> some reason that like really stuck with me. I still like, you know, get a smile out of it. Mm. Like mm, it was just something we times. did for fun. I think Sten was there too for some of it, but that would make sense. That's yeah, that's how I got introduced to Afterlife. You guys were built live streaming, I think, or something. Me and Sten uh, were, were. Oh, I was live streaming, and we were being stupid. Yeah, you were being really stupid. So I, I actually considered not applying then, but then after not finding any other SMP, I applied. <laughs> yeah, boy, we got you on wrap. <laughs> yeah, and I don't. I don't regret not joining. I was gonna say, is there any any like moment you've had in Afterlife history when you've been on the server that you wish like you had done differently? Like, is there any build you would have done differently, or like any? Oh, I mean, there's a lot of things I'm technically supposed to do differently, but you know, if you change one thing, then that alters history altogether, and so probably you know we not uh, might we might not be here right well, now. Like that's well, kind of why I've always okay, but... you know. Yeah, okay. if you kick skunk, maybe you'll get someone else better. Wow. Okay. I see. How you never is. know. You should try. Wow. You know. All right. I've said. You know, there's a lot of things I wish I didn't do, but you know, that's how you mold yourself, right? Mm -hmm. oh. I mean, there's still things, you know, in season three. You know. You never know. Yada. What is there something you regret, White? No, I. I just sometimes think back to like. Like, if I had left after season one, like, realistically, what would have happened? Uh, after I would have been dead. Were you in season one? Yeah. He yeah. joined in October. I was and the last one to after was life. that Was that, uh, was I there then? Yes. And then, uh, <laughs> then, Why can't I remember you know, that? as some people like to say, the Great Divide happened in Great February. Divide. So, was it February? I thought it was January. No. The official division happened in February. Ah. Okay. So, I mean, if you left, yeah, it would have been dead. That was an interesting time. Because I remember, I remember when I got on the server in Season 1, I was basically on my own. And I, I, I knew joining I would be on my own because everyone else... I mean, the season had been going for a while. What, 10 months, 11 months at that point? 11? Almost 11? So, because the because Afterlife started on December 21st, 2014. Mm -hmm. So, I joined yeah, October. Right. I do. Um, I don't. <laughs> I joined like middle of October, I want to say. No idea. It was almost 11 no, months. You joined, you joined the beginning of October, maybe end beginning? of September. Yeah. Because then we kicked a member when you joined. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Trust me, that's that's the first memory I have of of being an athlete. Yes. Of being pulled into a meeting for that. And I'm like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't have a say. I've been here for like not even a week. Did it take you long to like be more comfortable in the group? Oh, I was never comfortable season one. 
Oh, okay. Oh, well, I mean, I she, think it was just a bad. The one I, I never got to the point. He had a bad. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like when, when season one happened. Happening. Yeah, well, it was part of that, but partly it was because when season when I joined season one, everyone was already like in their oh, groups, it. and it's like so for the most part, I only really talked to Jay. And we also have Skype and, and Teamspeak, so you know, yeah. it's not as yeah. And Captain Bioc before he left, but and left left all this stuff to me, which I don't I don't understand, still don't understand to this day. <laughs> he had great faith in you, White. Apparently, I don't know. That was a fun time. I really wish I could have all the buildings that I built in Afterlife on one world. Mm. Just so I could go back and still be on the server while going back. It's like, I don't know. Mm. That'd, be, that'd be cool. Just have the same world. Just go super far away, build a new spawn if you're doing it in the next season. But I guess you can't Yeah, really... but then world downloads get, a, get be a problem, sadly. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's why servers reset Fort. to begin with, typically. Because, like, world, world file size. me downloading our world now is surprisingly already a pain in the butt. Like, it takes, like, like my internet here is, like, 100 megabits per second, but I think, like, the, the server provider, like, probably throttles me or whatever. And, like, it still takes, like, 10, 20 minutes to download the world. Wow. And it's only, like, 3.4 gigabytes. Wow. wow. Does it zip it? Really? No, they don't. They don't have an automatic backup zip thing, so I have to download the uncompressed version, which sucks. But you know that's what I get for paying a really cheap price. Yeah, and then also having some of the best specs. You know, I mean, we have one of the best specs for a server. I mean, for shared hosting, anyways. Hmm. A lot of fun times. A lot of fun times on Afterlife. Speaking of Afterlife, you can how about those podcast up. memes? Oh, last last episode in in the Discord link is down below, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yeah, those were great. If you're on YouTube, mm, yeah. those are those are pretty fun to go through. For those who don't yeah. know, we have a a, a memes um, text channel on on the Discord, and some people were were watching the Afterlife podcast and, and posting some memes. I, I know particularly Radioactive Bear was. I don't know who else. He was the only one posting memes of us. Okay. It was a great but, idea. I loved it. So if you guys are listening to this point, we should probably have this as, as a, like a comment down below. If you want to meme us, feel free to join the yes. Discord. Oh, I'll meme you. I I'm just looking at the meme right now. The one that says, like, when Lonsk does a good build, <laughs> White goes crazy. What the <laughs> that was All so of them are pretty okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to eat poopy shrimp? Okay. Dude, that everyone that the watches, stupidest thing. Everybody needs to know. Everyone that watches has to go in into that. Um, you don't want to eat poopy shrimp, or do you? Are you standing like this, like Jay trying to be an earthbender? <laughs> Dude, it's perfect. Mm. Yeah, great memes. Hopefully, we get some more. Yeah, hey, send make, us more make, memes. Make more. Make memes. some more memes, please. Yeah, but there you're you not go. saying anything, Rooney. You gotta say something for them to have, like, something. <laughs> you're just doing oh stuff. My Lord. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there you go. Make some memes. See, when we're all covering our eyes, it's like, when you don't want to look, but you do. <laughs> oh. Just no. Just, just no. <laughs> okay. All great stuff. Uh -huh. Good job, Radioactive Bear. We're proud of you. Yes. Yeah, good job. You sparked a movement within us. Yes. Great idea. We want more. Yeah. Please. Holy High five. <laughs> White, you're five. on top left. So are you? You, you got to put it in. Oh. Your... Wait, do I go so, like this? So no, we're running right the other way. You were here. right. No, no, no. Other oh. direction, White. Skunk, other direction. Other, like. Yeah, the, you, there? The, the, bo bottom, bottom skunk. You're good, White. Right there we go. Uh, la, 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 la. Tickle your hand. Okay. Okay, White, wrap up the podcast now. <laughs> good Lord. All right, everyone. everyone. That's going to do it. Any closing remarks from anyone here? Uh, live Get the hell life out with of no here. regrets. Smile. We are available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. You were supposed you to say that at the beginning, you Papega. Why do you think yeah, it's literally the first topic? <laughs> You're fired. Who cares about that? Whoa. 
Well, I mean, truly, I want people to listen on YouTube. That way we get more views. Or, man. but, you know. And then, yeah. And then also they get to see beautiful faces, you know, such as That's everybody true. else. Yeah, true. They get to see true baby shot. face skunk. They get to see baby face runic, baby face you white card, the, the and scruff off J. You know, it's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. people. We, you all know people are here for this. Why you're already taking them <laughs> down? Calm down, why? This is all right. Me. We all know what they're up? here for runic. Come on now. All right, everyone. Like, have you seen runic? Have you seen the faces that face can make? You can't make that. Oh no, White's getting mad now. God. Okay, White, White can you hurry up? My gosh. <laughs> Dad. That's going to do it for the podcast, everyone. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time. <laughs> Just bye. 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 Skunk, what are you doing? Say yeah, bye. At first, oh, I thought bye. you were touching your dog like in an inappropriate yeah. area. Because <laughs> I thought that I'm was out. like the tail area. All right. That's fine. All right. Bye, podcast. See you later. Wow. Well, White just got up and left like a he pig. He just got up. <sighs> a pig. What are you eating? Oh, it's no. yogurt. Isn't that warm yogurt. now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> warm yogurt. A little bit. I was trying to eat it, but yeah, I don't want to be rude. Yeah. yeah. We don't want a certain individual to be like, Oh my gosh, you're eating on camera? Yes. Very individual. What? Huh? Nothing. Hello. Who? What? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hello, governor. <laughs> Wait, what? what are you talking about? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Oh, just slipped that in there. <laughs> That's the wrong button. <laughs> I was trying to find that low. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> As you can see, you can see Blonsko abusing his dog right now, grabbing the snoot and waking his dog up.